All right, let's take a look at our first sentence as we go through the sentence study process. Remember that we want to make sure that we're following everything right down the line. The first thing we need to do is go through and label parts of speech. So we'll go ahead and do that. We have the as an article, big, adjective, hairy is an adjective, monster is a noun, from prep. Let's look at my amazing handwriting here. The is an article, horror, adjective, movie, noun, inadvertently. Remember, most of the time we have those ly words, kind of gives it away. Adverb, and it's right by knocked anyway, and knocked is a verb. Over is a preposition. A is an article. Bull is a noun. Of is another preposition. And popcorn is a noun. Okay, as we go to our next step, let me go ahead and change colors here. Let's get, uh, let's go with a red color. We want to do our noun phrase. Remember, we're going to look back up at the nouns, and then the noun phrase is anything, any adjectives or articles that modify that noun. Go with the noun phrase. So we have underline them once, big hairy monster. And then if we look up here, we have movie next, so we need to get the articles and adjectives to go with it the horror movie. Bowl is the next one. We have an article with it. So we have a bowl. And then we have popcorn kind of hanging out by itself. So we have popcorn. Okay, picking a new color. I'm going blue. We'll look at Pleasant Plains colors. Just having fun here. Um, need to have our verb phrases. Now remember when we do our verb phrases, we underline those twice. And the verb phrase is the verb or combination of verbs working together. If we look it up at our parts of speech, we only have one verb, and it's just kind of hanging out, working by itself. So we have the verb phrase knocked, and we're done with that one. Okay, we'll pick another color. We'll go with green, and we're going to look at our prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases, the first time we look at them, we're going to put parentheses around them. So we have from the horror movie, over a bowl, of popcorn. Okay. Now, if we have two prepositional phrases sitting next to each other like we do here, we need to kind of look at them and see what's going on. Over a bowl is modifying how it was knocked or what was, you know, um, so we're, we're looking at modifying knocked, um, makes it an adverb phrase, and then the of popcorn modifies bowl. What kind of bowl? Bowl of popcorn. So it's actually making, um, kind of makes it part of what's going on here. So we need to watch for that. So that whole string kind of goes together. Okay, if we have something that goes together because that of popcorn modifies a word in the previous prepositional phrase, it goes with it. So we have one big prepositional phrase here, over a bowl of popcorn. Okay, one more time, let me say that. Because of popcorn is modifying a bowl, working as an adjective phrase, it goes along with it. Since it's modifying it, then we have also one big prepositional phrase. Okay, we'll work on that. It's kind of a a concept that you probably haven't talked about before, but we'll build on that as we go. All right, I'm going to flip over to another color. Uh, let's go purple. And let's go ahead and identify the adjective phrases. And while we do the adjective phrases, I'm going to go ahead and catch the adjective phrases, um, the prepositional phrases that are working as adjective phrases. So we're looking at from the horror movie. It's talking about the monster. Monster is a noun, so that helps us out with that decision. We circle this guy. And we're going to label it adjective phrase. Okay, now we already said that over a bowl 
is working as an adverb phrase because it's talking about how the bolt, you know, how it was knocked. So we're going to circle of popcorn because we said it was modifying bowl and it's working as an adjective phrase. All right, while I have the purple out, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the rest of those adjective phrases. Now, remember we said typically adjective phrase is adjective or combination of adjectives or articles or a combination of adjective articles all working together. So we're looking for clumps of adjectives and articles. So up here we have article, adjective, adjective right before monster. Those are all working together. So we're going to circle those, label that adjective phrase. Next up we have the and horror working together right before movie. So we'll circle that. And I hope you guys are doing this in pencil, right? Because we're going to have a lot of practice and we're going to make some mistakes and we're going to use those mistakes to learn what we're doing. So it's good to make mistakes in this so we can learn from them. And then the next one we have an article hanging out by itself. And a lot of people ask me, I even if it's working by itself, is it an adjective phrase? Yes. So articles or adjectives that are sitting there by themselves, they still work as adjective phrases. Okay, so I have all of the adjective phrases taken care of. Time to switch colors. Let's go with whatever color this is, pink, uh, dusty rose. You can get creative, calling it what you want. We're going to get those adverb phrases. Adverb phrase is specifically those adverbs or combination of adverbs working together. Okay, remember we said this over a bowl is working as an adverb phrase. Okay, so we have that labeled. Um, if we technically look at it, that big phrase, if we want to, we could label it, and I'm not going to worry about it today, we could label that over a bowl of popcorn. That whole thing is actually working as an adverb phrase. Typically it follows whatever that first prepositional phrase is. Okay, that takes care of all of the phrases. So take a moment. If you need to pause, pause the video, take a look at it, and see what you got. Okay, that should have been long enough. You should have paused. If you didn't, you probably jumped when I said that. That's kind of fun. Uh, let's look at a cool color of orange, because orange is good. Orange, we'll look at those subordinate clauses. Remember what I told you? We won't have any subordinate clauses until I let you know. So we're going to put no, wow, that's really sloppy. No subordinate clauses. Okay, takes care of that. And now we need to switch over and let's get a good color here. Uh, how about this funky turquoise? Let's get the complete subject. And remember, we go up, when we find a complete subject, it's going to be that entire noun phrase that we had up here. So we're going to do this. And I remember some of you guys said that you just can't do that. So if you got to do a bracket, that's fine. Uh, so we have the big hairy monster as a subject. The verb is pretty much just that verb or combination of verbs, right? So we can just pretty much look straight up. And then if we have prepositional phrases, kind of know that they're not going to happen here. So we can get rid of that one. It's just in our way. Another prepositional phrase, it's just in our way. Prepositional phrase, it's in our way. You don't have to cross these off. I'm just kind of uh, making an example that they are not going to be used. And then we know that adverbs cannot be a predicate adjective, so it's just kind of in our way. So we're typically left here with subject, verb. The big hairy monster knocked. Okay, with that said, last step, we need to identify the type of sentence. Okay, the type of sentence we're looking at here is a simple sentence. We have one main clause, no subordinate clauses. One main clause, no subordinate clauses. Okay, let's pause that and we'll pick up. Okay, bringing it back, we have sentence number two up here for us. Uh, let me go ahead and bring up my whiteboard tool again. And we'll 
flip over to hey let's start off with turquoise that's kind of fun there's a little different color of turquoise parts of speech is kind of cruise through those we start off with Susie proper nouns still nouns we'll just label them just like they are verb for lifted um, her notice we got a pronoun there we have to make sure that we're watching those pronouns we're labeled with parts of speech is what it is but it's a possessive pronoun so we get down here remember possessive pronouns work as adjectives so we have to watch those it is a pronoun for a part of speech though and the hands we have noun in preposition the light noun and we can just write conjunction that is a coordinating conjunction or a joining conjunction so coordinating conjunction is what they're called she is a pronoun wiggled verb excitedly adverb through preposition the is an article and door is a noun okay take a look at those see how you're doing while I'm switching colors here let's go to a dark green maybe use that one yet and let's go with noun phrases okay noun phrases we go with the nouns nouns and they should have their combination of articles and adjectives that are modified and go right along with them so we have Susie we have hands up here and remember that her is a possessive so it's working as an adjective so it goes with the noun and then we have the light now pronouns are working in the place of nouns so we know that she look back to the antecedent Susie is a noun so she is working as a noun phrase as well okay so pronouns work as nouns so keep that in mind with you when you do your noun phrases and we get to the door our last noun phrase okay pick a new color here I'll go back to this crazy purple and moving on um, we look up here our first verb is lifted so we're going to underline that one twice next verb is wiggled underline that one twice okay how's everybody doing so far great thank you for anybody who answered okay as we go through uh, we need to look at the prepositional phrases so we put those in parentheses so we have in the light we cruise over here to our next preposition through the door notice how we're looking up at the parts of speech to tell us where our phrases are so kind of help us out as a guide now we can go through and determine how those are working uh, let's switch over to a blue I feel like uh, an artist reaching through my palette okay now in the light is talking about how Susie lifted lifted how in the light so we're modifying back to lifted so we're gonna circle in the light since it's modifying a verb you got it that makes it an adverb phrase I should give out cardinal cash for you guys who can read my writing through the door goes back to modify wiggled again modifying a verb so good deal here we've got another adverb phrase okay and while we're on the blue let's go ahead and take care of our other adverbs so as we look through our parts of speech right there we have an adverb phrase so let's go ahead and circle excitedly We'll label that. Okay. And we'll pick another color and we'll jump backward a step and we'll take care of those adjective phrases. Now, remember back when we talked about the pronoun her, we said it's a possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns work as adjective phrases, so we're going to circle that label that as an adjective phrase 
Oh, my handwriting's getting better. Awesome. And we look up here, kind of follow along the line, looking for adjectives and articles. I've got an article here. Now we want to make sure we remember these guys. We don't want to leave out those poor little lone articles. We don't want to make them cry. So we label that guy an adjective phrase. Okay, we take one last look at our sentence and we have everything pretty well taken care of. Okay, switching over. Let's see if I can find that other funky color that was fun before. We have no subordinate clauses, so let's make note of that. That's what that third line's for. Okay, and we'll come back, we'll look at those next week. We should be ready for those. Okay, now we're ready to look at those parts of the sentence. Let's go with a red. Looking at this section. Notice that we have it sectioned off. Some of you guys probably caught this already. We have a dividing line right there. Comma conjunction. Okay. If we have comma conjunction, we need to double check and see if we have main clause, main clause. So let's see if that works out. Over on the left side, we have noun phrase Susie. Okay, subject. What did Susie do? She lifted. Okay, so we've got a verb. What kind of verb is that? You got it. Action verb. After the action verb, we need to see if we have some kind of direct object. Direct object has to be a noun phrase. Okay, qualifies. Another one of the cool checks for that is we say, uh, we, we see if it answers a question what? Susie lifted what? Her hands. So we do have a direct object. Okay. And then prepositional phrase, just kind of hanging out there, so we'll just get it out of our way. All right, so for the first side, Susie is a subject, lifted as a verb, her hands, direct object. Okay, flip over to a new color here. I'm going to pick a blue. I'm loving these, this Pleasant Plains thing we got going on. Looking up here, noun phrase, we have she. So she is a subject. Wiggled. That does work. She wiggled. That's the complete thought. Uh, excitedly is an adverb, so we can get rid of that through the door. Perhaps there's no phrase, so we can get that out of our way. So we have subject, she, verb, wiggled. Now, taking a look at this one, we have two main clauses. What type of sentence has two main clauses? You are correct. Compound. So we'll write compound sentence over here, and we've got it knocked out. Now, Keep in mind as you go through that third sentence, you guys are going to check and make sure you have everything. I want to give you a heads up on that third sentence. Take a look, you have an extra kind of phrase that we haven't talked about yet. So check through the gerund phrases and the participial phrases. There's a trick in there. It's one or the other. You have to figure it out and see which one matches. Okay. When you have that figured out, if you have questions, you can ask me or you can just kind of go for it. All right, thanks. Make sure you have that, that last sentence study ready before you come into class next time.